Hello guys, this is Nick from TV Sprout. This is our second video of the series where we consider the abrasive materials. If you haven't seen the first video, here is the link above. So today we're going to be talking about the stones based on aluminum oxide. So let's try to figure out their properties, their pros and cons. Let's get started. Electrocorodon.org White Fuse Aluminum is a basic material which aluminum oxide stones are made of. It is widely used in sharpening both on electrical equipment and for manual sharpening. Electrocorandum is a crystalline aluminum oxide which is artificially obtained as a result of the remelting of alumina. This is done in a continuous way in electro-arc furnaces, followed by crystallization of the substance. After baking, the synthesized corundum acquires a very high hardness and its index, according to the MOX hardness scale, is 9, making it an excellent sharpening abrasive. For example, silicon carbide rated at 9.5 and diamond at 10, which is the maximum possible value. Stones based on aluminum oxide are the exact opposite of stones of silicon carbide. Aluminum oxide grains do not have such sharp edges and uh, the grain structure itself is less layered in comparison with silicon carbide, but the grains are more homogeneous. In contrast to silicon carbide, aluminum oxide grains can be less than one micron, uh, which allows you ultra-fine finishing. Aluminum oxide grain removes steel less aggressively, and it is not prone to crushing. Basically, aluminum oxide stones are designed for steels up to 62 HRC. If it's above and it has high vanadium content, problems may arise due to low productivity. In this case, it's better to use silicon carbide stones. Sharpening is done for all knives made of medium and soft steels, as well as those which crumble from sharpening with diamonds. Uh, sharpening with aluminum oxide abrasives is well suited for most kitchen knives, carpentry tools, hunting knives, knives for everyday use. They show great result uh, sharpening Damascus steel. The durability difference between aluminum oxide and silicon carbide abrasives is mainly dependent on the hardness of the bond. Due to softer bonds, aluminum oxide works cleaner on harder steels, but is inferior in wear resistance. Compared to silicon carbide, whose bond is mainly based on porcelain, aluminum oxide stones are worked out faster than stones based on silicon carbide, because aluminum oxide bond is made in a vitreous ceramic, which is softer. In addition, other alumina-based stones work with oil, while silicon carbide-based stones work with slurry, which has a greater abrasive effect. We're wondering if you're using aluminum oxide stones for your knives. And if you are, recommend us your choice in the comments, because it will help us extend the line of stones for sale and for our personal usage. So guys, thank you for watching, and if this video was helpful to you, Leave your likes below and of course subscribe to our channel to get more exciting videos about sharpening. Take care and stay sharp!